Uh, among the many places to watch the Space Shuttle Endeavour today will be the historic Proud Bird restaurant near LAX. It has its own flight museum, and it's, of course, the perfect place to send the one and only Mar Yvette. Mar, what's happening out there? <laughs> good, good morning, Phil. That's right. This, I mean... I don't think it gets any better than the vantage point we have here at the Proud Bird. And I'm here with Bill Talashe with the restaurant. His father built this place. And um, you guys have a party starting at 8 o'clock. People are, people are already starting to filter in. More than 500 people. There's so much momentum built around, around this event. Are you excited? We're excited. We've been working on this since about the middle of July. And we're so excited to see the amount of attention and the great group of people that are going to be here today. Now, tell me about the restaurant. Um, not only are you here just off the runway at LA, LAX, but you are also a museum to, to aviation, to modern aviation. It's an amazing display of a lot of historical information, all the way from the Wright brothers to a lot of stuff, even from Desert Storm and modern jet aircraft. What are we looking at right there? That airplane's a P-38 Lightning, which was one of the most significant planes of the Second World War, and that one actually commemorates the history of a famous pilot named Richard Bong, who was the lead ace of the whole Second World War. Wow. So how many planes? have on the property? There are 16 on property here. My favorite's got to be the Bell X-1. which Is, that is the, the orange one? Yeah, that's the model of the plane that broke the sound barrier. Chuck, wow. Chuck Yeager flew that. That is incredible. Well, so much going on here. Of course, we're excited for Endeavor to arrive. The moment of truth, right? So we'll be here all morning, all afternoon. So, Phil, we're going to send it back to you. Thank you, Mark. You Great soon. place to be. We'll uh, check back with you later on. A good day. Lawrence Yvonne, thank you. Not too far from LAX. Some people will be watching the shuttle landing at the Proud Bird restaurant. That's always a place uh, to be for this <laughs> stuff. Mari Vett is there right now. Good morning, Mar. Good morning, Steve. You know, I think I have the best vantage point because we are right here by the runway and it's also a restaurant. So, I mean, it's a win-win. Now, I have somebody very cool here. This is Ron Wade. He has actually worked on all of the shuttles. And you were telling me earlier, your dad actually worked on the Apollo as well. My dad worked at, at uh, then North American Rockwell Downey facility on the Apollo um, command module. Yeah, and you're, he's from, you're from Downey. You worked at Rockwell for many years. Now you're in Wichita, Kansas, but you know what? You said there's nowhere you'd rather be than here today. I drove basically 22 hours straight to get here. Oh, my, so meaningful. Yes. So important. Now tell us, we have a little show and tell here. Um, you've worked on all of these shuttles, so show us what we have. Okay, you've got the, you got the entire Give us stack. some fun facts, right? Fun facts. Okay, when when the shuttle is ready to launch, you're looking at six and a half million pounds wow. that it weighs. Uh, with the two solid rocket motors and the three shuttle main engines. So one, two, three, four, five, right? With with these five rockets, you're, it develops over seven and a half million pounds of thrust to get it off the launch pad to get it in space. That's incredible. And what is this here? I mean, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's really, it doesn't really look like much or feel like much, but this is an, these are actual pieces from the shuttle? These, these are um, the thermal protection system, the tile. Um, and basically, if you were to put this into the oven, um, get it red hot, you could actually you could actually pick it up. You wouldn't be able to pick it up like that, but if you pick it up on the edges, it'd still be glowing red hot, but you wouldn't burn yourself. And and that is, it's made of basically 90% oxygen, 10% silica sand. It feels so light. It's almost like styrofoam and chalk. Yes. And that, it's unbelievable that that's actually, a, this, that's the black part, right, of the shuttle? That's the black part of the shuttle on the bottom of the shuttle. And when it's coming in for reentry, it's coming in like this. You're looking at over 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's wild. You know what? There's so much more going on. A lot of people already showing up. The momentum is building. So we're going to send it back to you, but we will be back with more. We're getting excited. Endeavor fever. You got it. You got it. And uh, we will continue our coverage of this.